Hello everybody, this is Nick from Bruto Bello and Carol on Audio Blog. I wanted to show you something uh, that I've been working on with the push. And, uh, you know, a lot of people who have a push or have been thinking about getting one, one of the reservations that some people have had with it is that it doesn't work like other machines out there, specifically like Native Instruments Machine, allowing you to choose samples and browse samples on the device right without looking at the computer. <clears throat> and allowing you to do things like layering samples. So what I'm going to do is show you the way that I get around that, because you can do a lot of that stuff uh, with the push only. And I've got the computer going just so you can see the way I've configured things inside the computer. So I'm going to start right now. I've just got a uh, just an audio track just there, but I'm going to add my instrument track. And I'm going to go into my... I created a, a preset I call Stacks. And I make it AAA, so it's the top of my list there. So I'll show you what this looks like inside of Ableton. Okay, so here it is. It's just a standard drum rack, but I've done a few things. Um, I like to, to have two kicks and two snares on that bottom row. Pats, percussion, and then whatever else I like to throw in. And of course, with the drum rack, it can be all the way up and all the way down. But for my basic stuff, I like to get started with that. And what I've done is I've mapped some volumes for both of the kicks over here. So I have just one master. I'll jump over here so you can see it. I've got one master uh, volume that kind of controls the kicks, snares, all the hi-hats, and all the percussion. So that's kind of nice. Um, then within each individual sound, I've got a drum, I've got an instrument rack, excuse me, where I have four simplers. Each one of those is in turn going to its own individual layer volume. So I've got one, two, three, four layers going to one, two, three, four layer volumes. That's roughly it that, that's happening here inside of Ableton. Um, Everything else can be done from the push. So once I load in this blank um, instrument here, I'm over on the push. I've got no sound because that simpler instrument has nothing loaded into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the instrument level down to the specific uh, pad. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm already in it. Go from the instrument level, which is the AA stacks. I'm going to choose which instrument I want to do, and of course, as I, as I select different instruments, it's going to choose it up here. So let's, let's go ahead and my first kick. I'm going to dial into that once. I'm looking at now just the instrument, but I want to get into those four individual simplers. So I'm going to hit it one more time, and now you can see I've got those four individual simplers. I choose which one I want of those four, hit Browse, and i got to run down to my places and my samples and we'll pull something up here. Uh, what have I got? I got some funny circuit bent stuff. Let's go in there and see. Actually, let's do this one. I'm an old cheesy drum machine. Okay, so I've got that happening. Now let's say I want to go back and choose something to layer on top of that. I'll choose the second instance. I'll hit browse again. Um, because I'm starting from scratch, there's absolutely nothing loaded into those simplers. I, it makes me have to choose which folder I want to go to from scratch each time, which is not a big deal, but if I wanted to speed that up, I could automatically load things in um, to make it a little bit easier. So let's just, let's see what we got here. I don't know, Rhythm Ace, we'll pull some weird thing up there. Uh, let's layer in one of those bass drums, too. So I don't know if you can hear that, but I've got two, two individual kicks. And you can see over here in the software, I've got my kick there and my kick there. And when I press the pad, they're both happening. Um, I can dial in a little bit. Or I can, I'm sorry, I can go back to my, just my, from my main view, I can go where I can control the, the groups. I can go into the individual pad, and now I've got my layer volume, so. I'm 
right? So essentially it allows you to, to layer multiple things. Now of course I could actually put more than four simplers in. I could have a bunch of them. But it allows you to do all that right there on the push. And of course, as you can see, anytime you've got a simpler, like let's say I just have a, a standard pad, you can browse right on the, on the push very easily. You just have to make sure you're in instrument view, that you're looking at the instrument, and you select which one you like, and you just hit browse. Pretty straightforward. And then from there, if you've got individual samples, what you want to do is you can go into your individual samples. Now these are just wave samples. They're not uh, drum, or they're not uh, simplers or samplers or anything within Ableton. It's just a raw wave file. Uh, let's see what I got. We'll go to some strange... I think I like this. These ones are okay here. So let's say I want to choose some hats. Bam. What's going to happen is it's it's going to load that in and it's going to create a, an instrument there based on, oops, I don't need to pop that open, based on what sort of defaults you've set up. So what I have is back in Ableton here, under my user library, I have defaults. When I'm dropping a sample in there onto the drum rack, I have a, an instrument rack that I created, which is essentially this. You can see it's got a volume decay linked up here, the filter decay, the pitch decay, a pitch overall controlling the transposition. You've got cutoff, resonance, drive, which is actually these two effects separately, and then an overall volume. When I drag any sample from here right in, it's going to add this instrument rack with those, with the simpler, the saturator, and this bit reduction, or if I do it from the push. So it automatically adds that. So I've already got some macros pre-assigned for that specific pad. So you can load straight from a WAV file right in off of the device. You can also create stacks. All you have to do is create a template or a default um, kind of drum rack that's got layered simplers in there for you already assigned. Uh, but once you do that, you're, you're golden. It's pretty straightforward. So you can do it all from the push. Anyway, hopefully this alleviates some confusion or, or opens up some possibilities for you guys in the music that you make, and I hope it helps. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Nick from Carillon Audio and Bruto Bello. Have a good one. Bye.